Okay, so we're going to do more of the event today. Hmm, looks like you successfully completed your training. Oh, we got it done, but, uh, Sarash, after seeing that crystallized when, uh, she said the real, with real sincerity, that even though it had existed for centuries, one day it would still disappear without a trace. And then immediately afterward, when we mentioned that her odes might be distorted as well, her mood changed instantly. Hmm, but of course, my deeds, I mean, the deeds of us Perry, should be eternal. How can such a thing be compared to that which might part into dust and ash. As something cannot be recorded properly, then there must be something wrong with the method. You wish to remind me of this fact, which is why you sent me to view the crystallized one not. Am I right, Elder Zervon? Ah, that's the way you see it. Interesting. Do you not care do you care nothing for the renown of the Perry? If you're speaking of renown in the ways humans understand it, not so much. Whoever you say, the present-day members of the Order of Skeptics are so very dull. Of course, if there are more interesting individuals like Traveler or Paimon, then that would be a different case entirely. Yee, yeah, compliment from Zavon. Can interesting be considered a compliment? It is by my standards. Alright, enough idle chatter. If Sarash still thinks so highly of this human notion of renown, then the training that comes next might be just right. All right, I await your good news. Don't know if it's above ground or underground, so I'll find out. If it's above uh, ground, okay. So hot. Even a mist flower would melt in this heat. Uh, now that I think about it, it, it wouldn't. But you get what I mean. <laughs> This time I'm going to take a look around the area and see what I can do first. Just destroy this. That's all the enemy is gone now. Now I get to just destroy stuff. And done. Alright. And this time in one try.
Okay, here we go. Hey, isn't this the place we passed by looking for Mahir? Though Mahir shouldn't be here right now, right? All those thorns, they should be Mahir's companions. They look pretty good. Speaking of which, they helped us a lot. Pale Floater, did you forget all that I have accomplished? No way, you might complain a lot, but you do care about your people, right? Shrash the hero of this story. Indeed, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, Paimon knew it. You've got a big bark to go with your soft heart. Malicious slander. I was only here because I wished to earn the chaplet. If the Elder hadn't made me come... Hmm. Huh. Well, whatever you say, Mahir's part of the reason you even managed to claim the Twin Horn chaplet. Shouldn't you thank her for that, at least? Her? Bah! For such a figure, one stained and still struggling thusly... I'd say she would only be worth any merit after another ten cleansing pilgrimages. Ten is way too many. Uh, wait a minute. I was like, I thought Paimon thinks it would be too hard. The path really isn't that long. Yeah, maybe you can use it as an exercise every now and again. From the name, Paimon thought we would be walking for ten days and nights. As it turned out, we didn't even need to go that far. Hmm, the shortness of this trial... Yeah, trail is making Paimon suspicious. If it was as long as the ocean its pilgrimage, then perhaps I would respect her. As it stands now, I can only state that the distance of the cleansing pilgrimage suits Mir, or Mahir. The ocean its pilgrimage. After the catastrophe, a great number of oceanids came from Fontaine to Sumeru, with the path they walked becoming their so-called holy path. Strange, why would the oceans need to come to Sumeru? Pilgrimage? A pilgrimage for what? Hmm, I only heard of such a thing from my elder. Though there have been oceanids from Fontaine, I haven't truly looked into it. Could it be for the harvest, harvest, the tree? Could it be for the tree? Right, Shrash said that the tree was the god that let the peri be born. If honor's a big deal here, then the thing must deserve... The thing most deserving of it is definitely the tree. But what's the potential relationship between the Oceanids and the tree? Don't tell Paimon the Oceanids and Perry are alike, distant, st distantly related. Hmm. Looking at you carefully, Paimon's really beginning to see the resemblance. Hee <laughs> hee. Paimon hasn't discovered any world shaking secrets, has she? They're not that similar. The slander flows from your lips again, Pale Floater. I know nothing of any Oceanid. Hmm, you're probably right. Shrash should say that the distance the distance Oceanids need to travel for their pilgrimage is far longer than Mahir's cleansing. But if that's true, does that mean the Oceanids are stronger than the Peri? Is Shrash admitting defeat? Hee <laughs> hee. What? I didn't mean that. In all seriousness, the cleansing pilgrimage is not actually tied to distance. It is more of a symbolic affair, showcasing a rise and return to form. Huh, that sounds impressive, but... Regardless, it is irrational to brush all Perry as lesser than the Oceanids, and not because of any bias I may or may not have regarding Mahir. Speaking of which, why did Zervon say that the next part of the training was just right for Sirash? It doesn't look like anything special here. Also, Mahir is missing, too. Though if she was here, Sarash probably wouldn't talk to her properly either. They are pretty different in a lot of ways. Mihir doesn't need a Yashnapati. Yeah, she also said that being forgotten is a good thing. That fool, if her existence and her efforts over these centuries are forgotten, then what was it all for? Maybe that's the question that Zavon wants Sarash to think about? It seems that Sarash still needs some time. Alright, so that segment of the event is now complete. And 
then that comes out tomorrow. Yay! So I'm halfway through the event now. All right. So that's going to be the end for the Recollector's Path. And I'll see you guys later.